What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Psychic Seeds Gliscor team on the ranked regulation e ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I seriously don't know what you're doing. Click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. But this team right here was made by Nico Gaming. Nico, huge shout out to you, my man. If you guys want the Poke Face to this team, make sure you head down to Nico's channel. Link is down in the description below. But the main focus for this team is to lead Gliscor and Indeedee. Gliscor has Psychic Seeds as item, so pairing it up with Indeedee gives it a nice little defense boost once it hops into battle due to the Psychic Surge. But from there, you can go Indeedee, follow me, pop a nice little Sword Dance with Gliscor, and get that Pokemon set up to do some crazy big time damage. But Gliscor is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about with Hyper Cutter and like we already mentioned, the Psychic Seeds as its item. It's got Acrobatics, which is actually double damage when you don't have an item, and then EQ, Swords Dance, and Protect. Second slot is going to be Gyarados over here, mainly just for support with Intimidate and Assistant Berry. Then we got Waterfall, Protect, Taunt, and Thunder Wave. Indeedy over here, another support Pokemon for the squad with the Psychic Surge and Rocky Helmet. It's got Follow Me, Protect, Dazzling Gleam, and Trick Room. In our fourth slot is a big time special attacker. It is going to be Chi Yu with the Beads of Ruin and the Choice Specs as its item. It's got Overheat for massive stab damage, Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, and Snarl. Fifth slot is going to be Sinisha, a nice little healer on this team with Hospitality as its ability and the Mental Herb as its item. It's got Macha Gacha, Rage Powder, Protect, and Trick Room. In our final slot, we got Fluttermane, a perfect Pokemon to pair up with Chi Yu. It's got Protosynthesis with the Booster Energy and then Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Icy Wind for a bit of speed control, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run out the code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Regulation E ladder and look to showcase Glide Score. First match on its way, and we're going up against a snow team right here. They got Delibird, or I should say Iron Bundle, and then they got Urshfu. Aurora Veil, Ninetales, Alone Ninetales to set the snow, and then it's got Slush Rusty Titan, Amoongus, or not even Amoongus, Brute Bonnet, and then last but not least, the Hisuian Avalon Pokemon. So a lot of Ice type Pokemon. We really don't have weather control, but we got the boy, we got Chiyu, who's going through a great Pokemon for us. I got Gliscor over here. I could lead it and actually thrash it into water, which I really like. And why is he not flying in this in this thing right here? Like, why is he on the ground? Why are you on the ground? I've never seen that before, but it's kind of cool. But I'm going to go Gliscor here. I'm going to lead it with the lovely Indeedee. And then from there, we are just going to go Chiyu and Fluttermane. Sounds really good for us, right? Sounds wonderful. Sounds lovely. I'm down with that. I can definitely get down with that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But Gliscor is an all-time goaded Pokemon, in my opinion. In my opinion, ever since they released it in Gen 4, I just think Gliscor just looks phenomenal and is awesome to use on the rank because it's not an OP Pokemon, it's not a really weak Pokemon, it fits that just right spot where it's really fun to use at the same time. But uh, they're going to go Sea Titan and they're going to go Avalon. So Sea Titan and Avalon come out here, which kind of scared me a little bit. We got Gliscor over here. Gliscor's not going to be bad at Terrasalize here. Nice little Water Tower we can get cooking with. We got the Psychic Surge, we get the Seeds, because EQ's actually pretty solid up against both these guys. So I'm thinking of just maybe just following me and then Terrasalize in this turn. Right, probably your best bet, right? Oh, we get a special defense boost from Psychic Seeds. I thought it was defense boost. You know what? Sword Dance, definitely the play here. And a follow me. Do they have any double hitting ice moves? I don't think so. If I can go follow me turn one, I don't have to terrestrialize just yet. I can save it for next turn to try to make an ice move come into me. So we'll just go follow me here. We got that lovely special defense boost. We have acrobatics ready to hit hard. And we're going to pop a nice little Sword Dance to get plus two on the board. Big time plus two on the Swords Dance. You're going for Belly Drum? No, you're going for Ice Beam. I was going to say, Sea Titan, you could go for Belly Drum, and that would be scary. But he's going to go for an Ice Spinner, take some Rocky Helmet damage, and you're going to take out the Terrain, which we don't really need anymore. We kind of already got it. So he ends up going for a nice, lovely Iron Defense. So I Sword Dance again here? I just might Sword Dance here. I could just go EQ. Do a bunch of damage. I'm down for it. I'm down for it. I could actually... Swap no. Do I have protect on you? I do. I'm just gonna protect in EQ. I think it's just I think it's just pretty free, but you know what? We want to go for a nice little terror water here. And now we can do that, and then we'll just go for a nice little protect here. With Indeedy. So he's gonna end up withdrawing Sea Titan. So what are you gonna go into now? What Pokemon are you going into with nine tails? Which I don't mind because I'm EQing across the board and I get off some big time damage. 
Do not mind you there. I don't mind you. So we trash slide in the water just in case the ice move is coming into the line score slot. I could see this Avalok setting up another defense boost, but I don't really mind it too much considering we have some special attackers in the back end. So from here, we're just going to start attacking, maybe just targeting down this right slot and doing as much work as we possibly can with the line score. The EQ is going to come across the board here. He's plus two on defense. I'm plus two on attack. Let's see how much damage we're We're doing a nice chunk of damage. Not onto Avalok, but more so onto Nathan. So he's got an iron defense set up again. And like I said, that's I'm cool with that. I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I really don't. So from here, I'm just going to EQ again. Do I EQ again? I think I'm just going to acrobatics you. Go acrobatics and maybe just pop trick him. No, we don't want to trick him. We do not want to trick him up. We're just going to dazzle gleam. The chance already gets off a of bell here. Yeah. The bell comes out. So he gets off the lovely war bell. Like I said, we have some big time special attackers in the back end. But we should be able to KO 9 this, which we do. Acrobatics does an insane amount of damage, especially without an item. And it's stab, and I'm plus 2 on attack. We KO with no problem through the war bell. Dazzle Gleam's gonna come out here and chuck up some nice damage. He goes for body press, and that might KO me. We survive. We love that. We love that eat up there. So we get another turn with the Goliath score, which is massive. But at the same time, he's probably going for Icy Wind, which. I don't like. I don't like. Yeah, you're definitely going for Icy Wind. No doubt in my mind you're going for Icy Wind. And you get the speed boost and all that. So you're, mm, you're definitely going for Icy Wind. I'm going to try to pull off an EQ. Yeah, I'm going to try to pull off an EQ. And I don't know how good it's going to work. We're going to go EQ and we're just going to go Dazzling Gleam. You're definitely going for Icy Wind. Hey, go for a wide guard. Oh, no. What are you going for here? Just a blizzard. Okay, so I mean it didn't really matter. I mean you just dodge a, a dazzling gleam. That's it. So they dodge a dazzling gleam. We know that Avalog is rocking out with Y guard. So this can get a little scary. This can get a little scary. Just just a little scary, right? Just a tad bit scary. Because I have two special attackers that thrive off a of double hitting moves. So from here we're just gonna go Chi Yu. And I might just choice into Dark Pulse at this point. I might just choice into Dark Pulse and go after Av Avalon. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I mean, he could land a Hydro Pump. I don't have Terror or anything, but I'm going to choice into Dark Pulse. And you know what? I'm just going to follow me in the shot. We'll just, we'll just play it simple. We're hoping that a Wide Guard's coming out there and a Hydro Pump is well. But at that point, then I can bring out Flutter Main. I got the Booster Energy and we can hit pretty hard from there. But yeah, this, this Avalon's actually looking pretty solid. He's going to Terrasalize, and I think this would be the Avalon, right? No, it's going to be the Bundle. And the Bundle's going to go into a straight Ghost type. You know he's a lovely Ghost type. I don't see the purpose of doing that, but go for it. There's the Wide Guard coming out from you. And again, we're hoping Hydro Pump's here. We're hoping they're going for Hydro Pump. We are hoping that Hydro Pump's coming out here. Or just a single hit him, right? Hydro Pump, there it is. They so make the read pretty easily. We're kind of hoping they missed the Hydro Pump at the same time. And now Dark Pulse is going to come across and maybe pick up a KO. Let's see. How much damage is this going to do? It does pick up a KO. So that's a big time KO for the Avalon. We know his final Pokemon is C Titan. And our final Pokemon is this beautiful Pokemon. A little bit of Flutter Mane actually. So Flutter Mane's going to come out here. I got boost energy. I got all that good stuff. And what do I want to do from here? I could double down to the Iron Bundle. I could. I definitely could. C Titan's gonna come out here, and I know this thing has like a bunch of different moves you can use. We know Iron Bundle is on Sash, it was Booster Energy, and Cork Drive popped. So I think from here we just go Dark Pulse into this, and then maybe just. Do I double down into him? I kinda want to, right? I kinda want to, but uh, but at the same time it's like tough. Actually, yeah, we're doubling down, because I think he goes for Hydro Pump. Yeah, there's the Hydro Pump. So Hydro Pump comes out here, it goes after Chiyu, and that's gonna KO the Chiyu. And then we're just gonna KO. The Iron Bundle. So this match is going to come really close. It's going to come really close. Because this should KO no problem. This should KO you no problem. Cool. So now it's a 1v1. And again, I don't know who's going to win this. Because he's going to get a one shot on us. He's going to he's gonna be up one turn. Depending on how much damage this does. That's the real question. Heavy Slam. And yeah, that's game. Never mind. Forgot this thing learns Heavy Slam. And match number one goes to our opponent. So solid match. We get Gliscor out there. Just our opponent had a big time of War Bell helping him out. 
Second match coming at you guys, and I would love to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. But we are going up against a pretty meta team. They got Ursaluna for Trick Room purposes. They got Sinisha to pop the Trick Room and for a little bit of support. Then they're rocking out with Iron Hands, Hisuian Arcanine, uh, Iron Bundle, and last but not least, they do have Rollaboom. But from here, I'm going to go Glide Score, and I'm going to go in. Let me see Indeedee's speed. It's 105. Hopefully, that's slower than Rollaboom. But I like the Glide Score and Indeedee, yeah. And then I think we're just going to bring same team. I like the Chiyu. I like the Fluttermane. I think this could be a nice little redemption battle here. And we can grab ourselves win here in match number two. Because, you know, we lost that first one. Came kind of close, though. It definitely did come kind of close. The Avalug was perfect. Setting up, getting some damage done. And then the Nine Tails. Who do they have in the back end? Oh, Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle is always a problem. It is always a problem. And we're going up against it yet again. Iron Bundle is just always a threat. It's super fast. Hits like a truck. It's really tough to kind of counter at times. But uh, let's see who they end up leading. Kind of hoping Iron Hands a little bit, right? I don't mind Iron Hands because we have to... Yep, Iron Hands. Cool. Iron Hands and Sinisha. So they can pop Trick Room. They're most likely going to pop Trick Room. And to be honest... Actually, no. I got to play them. We're just going to follow me the shots here. They're, again, they're probably popping Trick Room. Trick Room is probably coming out here. So I'm going to Sword Dance here. And I'm just going to follow me. And then if they do pop Trick Room, I can always protect the Glide Score and then maybe unpop the Trick Room by going Trick Room with Indeedee, which could work out pretty well. We'll see what they want to do from here. We do have Water Terror if need be, but I kind of like our typing right now on Glide Score. And he just withdraws Iron Hands. So Iron Hands gets to withdraw, and he's going to go into Rillaboom should come out here. So he's going to take away Terrain, which, I mean, I don't mind that too much. I don't mind that Terrain change too much. And from here, we go for a final move. So I'll set up the sword dance. We'll get the free plus two here. And Sinisha, what are you going for? You got to be tricking, right? I feel like that, that's what you got to be doing. You got to be going for tricking and probably have Ursula in the back end. Now you're just going to spit a nice little Macha Gacha. I don't mind that. Macha Gacha is going to come out here. We're going to get some HP back. And from here, he's probably faking me out. So I'm just going to protect you. And you just go for Dazzling Gleam. Just chip up some damage, right? Game down just chip up some damage. So I'll protect the glass core. I think fake out is coming into that slot. It could be wrong. And I'm correct. Jeans is correct. Lovely. And then Dazzle Gleam comes across. So we Dazzle Gleam up. Sinister's going for another Macha Gacha. I don't mind that. And from here, I think we just acrobatics and boom slot. And then we follow me with the game. It makes the most sense. Or I could get rid of Sinisha, but I think I'd rather get rid of him if we have the chance. And did you really just burn my Ndidi? Unbelievable. 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 Or do I get rid of Sinisha? I wouldn't mind getting rid of Sinisha. I seriously wouldn't mind getting rid of Sinisha. I do think Grass Guide's gonna come out here, and it might even go after my... You know what? We're just, we're just gonna play this one safe. We're, gonna go, we're going after Rob, and I'll follow me. No need to overthink. They could pop a trick room, but I say we just straight up attack. I don't really see Robo protecting or anything, but he is going to try us. Of course he is. I knew I should have went after Sinisha. I hate this game. Don't like it one bit. Oh, no. Cool. He, he terrestrializes the Sinisha. In the fairy. You could be going for a uh, a rage powder, so that could kind of screw everything up, but still. Hopefully, you're just attacking. Hopefully, you're just straight up attacking. Terrestrialize in the fairy. Are you rage powder in here? You are. Okay. So he just wants to be a little bit of cover. And he's probably just going to take out my E from here. So Acrobat's going to fly through. We're doing some big time damage. We like that damage. Rocky Helm is going to chip us up. And he goes for the Woodhammer. So Woodhammer's going to pick up the KO. And now it seems like the most perfect time to bring out Chiyu, right? Heat waves across the board. Acrobatics into the right slot. I don't think it gets more perfect than that, right? Yeah, I like that. Especially with the speed. You might just want to protect uh, Gliscor this turn. Yeah, I think we protect Glyscor. And the reason I'm saying protect Glyscor is because, again, Grassy Glide, it's a big problem. It's a big problem. So I'm just going to go Chi Yu here. I think now's the perfect time just to choice spec in the Heat Wave. And then just protect the Glyscor. About it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So protect here just so little Grassy Glide doesn't KO me. And then Heat Wave. Right on him. Because what I think he's going to do is just maybe use a move with, with Sinisha. 
and then go for Grash Guy and kind of just like know that it's Rillaboom dying out here. Or you might make a swap. I don't really know. I really don't know, but we're protecting Glasgow either way. They do end up making a swap. Wow, we should have just attacked. The swap comes out here. Iron Hands is gonna fly. And Protect's gonna come out here for Glyscore. And we're just hoping we can land a Seat Wave, which we do. Beautiful. So we'll say bye bye to Sinister Shell. We got off some beautiful damage on the Iron Hands. And they might just bring out Billaboom again for double fake out. Makes sense, right? It does make sense. Yeah, so Rillaboom comes out here. He could double fake out if he wants. Um, I could actually see Grassy Glide. I might want to hard swap here. Now, you know what? I'm double down into this slot. We're going we're going Heat Wave and we're going for Acrobatics. I can't protect my Glyscore again, so if it dies, it dies. It did some work already. Just would love to get off at least one of these guys hitting, but could see a fake out from the Iron Hand slot into the Chiyu and then a Grassy guy come into the Glyscore slot. But there is a chance we eat it up. There is definitely a chance we eat it up. Let's see. Fake out goes into Glyscore and Wilbur. What are you doing? You're just going to Grassy guy. She's going to double down into Glyscore. Who soaks it? Lovely. Heat Wave's going to fly. KO the real boom, And now we're sitting in great position. Lovely position. Glyscore out Vulcan. Out Vulcan. I didn't even have to protect the last turn. So I, I did think Grassy guy had a shot at KOing. But yo, it's it soaked it. It soaked it. The terrain's gone now. You go Iron Bundle, who... Kind of scary. Not gonna lie, kind of scary. And honestly, I think I might just EQ Heat Wave. I might just EQ Heat Wave. Actually, do I EQ Heat Wave? Probably not. Probably not, because Icy Wind could definitely come out here. That could be a problem. So you know what? I'm just gonna Acrobatics this slot and just stick with my Heat Wave. Do I Terrasalize, though? Yeah, now's gonna be a perfect time to Terrasalize, especially if he's going for a nice little Drain Punch in the Chiyu slot. I think now's the perfect time to hit that turn button. Not dealing with, with a Drain Punch coming in here, or say I miss a Heat Wave, he Drain Punches, gets back a ton of HP. So Iron Bundle's really our last our last step at winning this match. Iron Bundle's always a threat. It's just, a, just an amazing Pokemon, and ooh, we actually dodged it with Hydro Pump. I thought he was going to go for an Icy Wind or something, but that pretty much just wraps it up. Oh, Chiyu is just KO and no problem. Chiyu is just KO and no problem. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Match number two. Going to your boy. We absolutely killed him with Glyscore and Chiyu in match number two. Final match coming at you guys. And that was a perfect showcase of Glyscore in match number two. Been loving this Pokemon in today's video. Maybe might use it again here in match number three. They got Chiyu. They got Gyarados. They got Komo-O alongside with Sinistra. Could potentially lead that. And they can just go Rage Powder and try to set up the Clangor Soul. But they also have Iron Hands and Fluttermane. Two very strong Pokemon. But what do I think they're gonna do? They could go Chiyu, Fluttermane, they could lead Intimidate, they can lead Iron Hands, they can lead Kotomo O and Sinistra, like I already mentioned. So they have a lot of different options. A lot of different options. But what about us? We can go Glyscore, we can go in DD, we could set up full blown attack, and maybe just go Chiyu, Fluttermane right off the rip. Especially if they have a shot at leading Iron Hands. Yeah, you know what? I'm about it. I'm actually really liking that. Because that covers a lot. If they go Iron Hands, we could just Terrasse slash Chiyu and it goes and dodge Fake Out right there. Plus, will be super effective onto the Iron Hands. We won't be affected by Intimidate because of Gyarados. And then on top of that, if they go Konomo'o and Sinistra, we'll have a Fire move in case he wants to Steel Terra. And we'll have a Fairy move to actually hit it up with. And Shadow Ball to take out Sinistra. Okay, yeah. So, that's, that, that's just such a good lead. Really good lead. We're going to bring Sinistra in the back end. And then we're going to give Gyarados a little bit of loving. I like that. I like that. So Chiyu Fluttermane pushing hard up front. We're looking to just get after it here and kind of just grab ourselves a winning record. But yeah, that second match, yo, Glasgow, you get that. The Sword Dance is so easy to set up, and then he hits like a god dang truck. He's just coming through Mac 10 right into your face. They end up going Chiyu and Como. Now that's a little odd. Now that's a little odd. Chiyu Como. I'm trying to think of like why that would be a lead, but I feel like leading Komo -O with anything but a uh, support Pokemon is kind of a little rough. So from here, I'm just gonna actually, I'm not gonna Thrastalize. I'm just gonna straight up Heat Wave. In case Komo -O wants to, wants to Thrastalize. And I'm just gonna Moonblast into you. I think just double down she used to play. Because they can also withdraw or even protect Komo'o here. So I think just like 
going after the Chiyu at this point is actually pretty good. Let's see who what they end up doing. I'm kind of hoping they just Terra Steel here, right? Because we're throwing Heat Wave. Maybe they think like, hey, there's no shot he's throwing Heat Wave. But I, I'm, I'm doing it as a precautionary kind of thing. Throwing, throwing the Heat Wave in case the Steel type comes out here. Let's see what they end up doing. I think our, our opponent's thinking real hard. Thinking out all of the options. Instead of just protect Gomo. Okay, cool. That's fine, because we're doubling down into your Chiyu. We want this thing going. Maybe I should have terrored my Fluttermane, but we're still doing a nice chunk of damage there. And we get a special attack drop. That's beautiful. That is lovely. Dark Pulse gonna fly through here. We're able to soak that. And Heat Wave is going to do what? How much damage on to Chiyu? Enough? Not enough damage. Simply not enough damage. So over here, we're just going to rip another Heat Wave. And actually, we outspeed. Actually, no. We're, we're just going to go Heat Wave and... The Moon Blast is slot. We're doing that all day. We're choosing the Heat Wave right now. Chiu is minus one on special attack, which is pretty good for us. And now I'm doubling down into the Como slot. And he ends up withdrawing Como. So he knows that we have him in a de decent position here. He went flying, so going to Sinistra is a little, a little rough. But given that heal the Chiyu, he might be able to soak up another Heat Wave now. Moonblast gonna fly in the Sinistra here, doing some beautiful damage, and he's gonna Dark Pulse finish off my Fluttermane. Like I said, I'm really hoping we can connect with this Heat Wave and pick up Double KO. Go ahead, Chiyu, give it to him. Give it to him, Chiyu. Double KO. One HP, really? Chiyu, I like. I expect better from you. I really do. I really do. I really expect better. <laughs> I do expect better. But I'm going to go into Gyarados here. I think Gyarados is a nice little Pokemon up against these guys. And I wonder who they're going to go into. I think they saved them. But well, they might go into it right now. Right now could be the play. No, Iron Hands comes out here. So we get off a nice Intimidate. It's beautiful. Lovely. Lovely. And now's the perfect time to Terrasalize. So I'm going to Terrasalize you into the nice little Ghost Typing to dodge Fake out if it's there. And on top of that, bump, 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 bump. Do we just swap you at this point? Yes, I'm going to protect Garrus first. Because if Chiyu takes any kind of damage, then we can just hard swap it and go into Sinisha and get some HP back that way. So we'll protect Gyarados. We'll have Chiyu just start doing some work. Getting after it. We're hoping he's not Dark Pulsing into my Chiyu slot, because then that could get ugly real quick. That could get super ugly. We're going to just protect the Gyarados. And they go for the fake out into the Chiyu. And please do not be going for Dark Pulse in there. Okay, cool. He goes to the Dark Pulse into Gyarados. So perfect money protect here. And now all we need is Heat Wave to land. Cool. Heat Waves land. Yo, Chiyu ain't, Chiyu ain't playing around with the Heat Waves thing. Can we get a burn too? Please and thank you. <laughs> a burn would be so clutch. It would have been so clutch. But now we got Intimidate onto the Iron Hands. Now would be a good swap into... Now would be a solid swap into... Sinistra, right? Because I can Heat Wave freely. I can get Intimidate back. I can just go from there, right? And maybe at that point I can swap Chiyu and maybe just change our move that we're using. I think I'd rather be using Dark Pulse than anything. So I'm gonna hard swap the Gyarados. I'm gonna save our Intimidate for a bit later. I do think Wild Charge could potentially be coming after the Gyarados as well. So going into Sin is just not a bad turn. Heat Wave's gonna fly. Do some nice damage on Iron Hands. Any burns? There's one burn. We'll take it. We'll take that burn all day long. We like that burn. And Clanging Scales gonna come out here and do a nice chunk of damage. Do a nice chunk. He does get a defense drop, which is huge. And he's gonna White Herb. What's going on there? Oh no, you're getting your third spray boost. Wild Charge is coming into this slot, and I'm soaking pretty well. So now he's going to take a nice little burn. Um, the real question is, do I hard swap at this point? I could go into Gyarados, which I kind of like. I kind of like intimidating the Iron Hands a little bit. Or I can just try to KO it with a Heat Wave here. And yeah, that's actually going to be my play. I know I outspeed, I know he doesn't have Protect. If I could just land his Heat Wave on the Iron Hands, he'll die out. So I'll do that, and then I will just, I guess, Macha Gacha. Yeah, I guess I'll go for a nice little Macha Gacha. The Heat Wave's gonna fly here, it's gonna take out the Iron Hands, do some nice damage to Komo-O. 
And he's probably going for another clanging his skills here, which will lower his defense yet again. Yeah, this good for clanging his skills. But it's lowering his defense, Chiyu is eating, and now I get to bring out a physical attacker with Gyarados. So good swap for us to actually take Gyarados out. Now we got a physical attacker ready to do some damage. And we outspeed with Chiyu. Lovely. Oh, we played this one so good. The place went so good. I know Waterfall's not very effective, but I don't see Como O one shot in Garrus. So I feel as Garrus should just be able to finish this one off. Plus, I can always just protect my burn ship up. And plus, Heat Wave. If it lands, it's game. So I'm just going to Heat Wave. I'm going to Waterfall here. Should be game set match. Heat Wave's going to land. And it's just going to KO straight up. So we didn't even need Garrus. We didn't even need him. But still, Garrus was a great back end Pokemon. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 1. A nice, lovely winning record for you guys. I had a blast rocking out with Glyscor in today's video. Super fun team filled around some meta Pokemon. Can't really go wrong with that. And on top of that, an SLV 2 1 winning record. Pairing up Glyscor with Ndidi made it super simple for us to set up the Swords Dance and just have that thing thrive out from there. And then have a back end Pokemon such as Chiyu and Fluttermane really help this team clean up the mess and grab us some wins. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spot. Today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.